Chainlink daily price update. Today we're going to look at 21 day moving average right in front of you. That 21 day EMA currently we're in a battle, right? Where we need to hold this as support, continue to do it. And then not only that, but we need to pull away from it. Okay. So as we move up, if we move up, what are our targets? I'm glad you asked. Let's get out our Fibonacci extension tool and see what we got. So go from our swing high here to our swing low. And these will be our short-term key levels, right? So far, we went up to the 0.382. And you might wonder, how do you really see these, right? Some people uh, will move these in and out. But an easier way, if you're if you're newer, maybe you don't know about it and you're older, uh, hit the hit your little I button there, right at the top, uh, where you're, whatever your trading pair you're looking at. And then you can get, you know, your little glances without, you know, worrying too much about moving stuff. Okay, so then you, you get your levels here. And as we move up, you know, you just burn these into your main in your mind, uh, little short term price moves. So 21, uh, 16 is kind of the next level. That's the 0 0.50. If we break through that, uh, right, just shy of $23 at the 618. And as we move out here, we're going to look at different time frames. Say we continue to do that. And you want a little bit bigger picture, right? You want a little more solid levels. Well, pull it out to your next level up, your swing high back up here, right? This will still work. And note where we went right? We were down here and that was still a level, right? That was the 382 on the shorter time frame. We go out to the bigger time frame, the bigger drop, still key levels. Look at these, look at this, this, uh, the 618 right there, right? That's, uh, the 236 right there, right? Uh, so if you want bigger price levels, you just need to zoom out and put it on the next peak. So we'll go back to, we'll go back one more step in here in just a minute. Uh, but as we start moving up here, you'll notice these levels will probably start acting as support and resistance. Uh, I mean, you can see it time and time again. Uh, these are not coincidences that we top out and, you know, consolidate right around these levels. OK, so um, just keep these in mind. And as we move back up 23, 26, right, if you if you remember, hit your little light, your eyeball there and you, you, you can get your levels pretty quickly. Okay, so the 21 day holding us support, we need to take out the 236 and then our next target's right there at the $23 level. So if you want an even bigger picture, you do the same thing. Just go to your previous top here, okay? After you switch tools. <laughs> so let's go back over here, way back to our peak at $53, right? And same thing, right? You can use this on the weekly too and it'll you know be a little bit more clean. Uh, but these are, again, key levels. Look. These are not coincidences. Look at this, right? So 2869, uh, the, 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 again, if you, if you, you need, need help, just I undo that. You can move all your moving averages, right? Let's just clean it up, take it all off. There you go. Uh, and there's your levels, right? On the big level, uh, 382, 2869, 0.50. A lot of people take profits on the 0.50 um, with not just link. That's just, just generally how it goes, because if you, uh, if you turn around there, which sometimes you do, right? Uh, a lot of people take profits there and you went with a stop loss. And then if you move past the 0 0.50, you're usually going right to the 618, if not even higher. So put that back on and that will be a key level. Our next big key level uh, for link. Uh, we have, you know, that right around that 23 level for even uh, the, the lower time frame that we looked at. And now uh, as we step up higher, 2869, right in that area, Previous local top as well. Go up beyond that, the 0 0.50 right at that 33. And then looky there, uh, the 618 uh, right at the, what what level? Let's go look again, 38. <laughs> uh, so that's that's kind of how you do it briefly in a summary if you want to do that, uh, shorter time frames. So that's that, as they say. So crypto fear and greed index, we're at 50. We're still in neutral. So we're coming back up here. This is a good sign, right? We haven't done this in a while making a higher high and so far we just dropped just minorly right a lot of fake outs with the news this morning on the, the cpi right you can go look at the forexfactory.com I, I cover this in my telegram so if you want more uh content than what you see and more um more little stuff like this uh follow us on our free telegram follow us on our patreon if you want you know more personal tips how i'm navigating the markets lots of good stuff in there uh so check it out uh all that's linked below and let's get to our quote of the day Life lived for tomorrow will always be just a day away from being realized. Boom. That's that's a little deep there. Think about it. Take a, take a second. Car of the day. That's my search. I forgot to exit out. There it is. 
Porsche GT3. So new one, 2022. Uh, stellar. I built one of these last night. One of my, someone I know just got one and I had to go build one. So uh, it kind of entranced me a little bit. It's turned me on to Porsche just a little bit more. Uh, you can get so many, there's so many customizations you can do with these. It's nutty. You can even like remove the red out of the taillight. You can get your badges painted the same color as your car. You can customize how much carbon you want on it. You can even do the wheel. Look at the wheel, the, the outer lip. You can get painted to match your car. I mean, um, unbelievable amount of customizations I was not aware of. So Porsche just went up a couple notches in my book. Uh, pretty cool. If you want to step up from there, the GT3, they start about 160. So, uh, they're still pretty nice cars. Uh, but if for the options that I spec, I think I spec, uh, you know, pretty much everything I want for 40 K above that. So it was right around 200 K, but for a brand new Porsche supercar, I mean, that's 200 K for a brand new supercar is pretty good. Uh, you know, relatively speaking to other supercars, not that that's cheap by any means but if you want to step up big very bigly uh you can take it to the gt3 rs and this is more track based lots of carbon i mean carbon everywhere race seats carbon roof just all standard and these start about 100k higher so you might be pressed to find these under 250 we were looking more towards 300k uh for the rs but uh, whew, uh if i was ever going to get a porsche and you know i might have to spring with the rs uh, and this color, this would be like my exact spec right there. Uh, the, I think they called it, it's either lizard green for the inside or it was uh, mama green. I think mama green is the outside. And then lizard green, you can get you can get the seat stitching. I'm rambling here, I get it. But maybe some of you are Porsche fans or supercar fans. And this is for you. Uh, so many customizations. Go on Porsche's website. It's, it's real fun. And they'll show you in real time the changes. So if you change to a carbon hood, it'll like flip. It'll show your picture in the carbon hood. You can change the lip uh, on your wheels and it flips over there. It's You can even cuss, look at these mirrors. So you can get the bottom painted to, to the body color and then you can get the top in carbon. You get the roof in carbon, the hood in carbon. You can even get colored match like inner headlights or you can black them out or you can get carbon in there. Amazing amount of options. Great job, Porsche. Much better than I expected. So that's that as they say. What movie is that from? I know it's tough, but if you get that, I, I can't trust you anymore because you just Google it. So if you know it, I mean, big ups to you. It's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> Meme of the day. I'll stop there before I get too far in trouble. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm happy to help. That's why I made this channel.